All right, so we have completed this inflow section or reservoir section. Now we can go to this one, equipment data section. We click this one. We will provide data for deviation survey, downhole equipment, geothermal gradient, and average heat capacities. So we need to click all of them and then click edit. So the first section is deviation survey. I've prepared my data and I'm just going to copy and paste in this section like this one. All right, you can follow my data, of course. And then we can click plot. Yeah, we have a deviated well. And this is data for measured depth and true vertical depth. We start by a vertical section here, followed by deviated trajectory. All right, replot. Okay, finish, done. And the next one is downhole equipment. All right, so this is the data. We can maximize the window. Christmas tree, zero. Measured depth, tubing. We have two sections of tubing. Okay, the first one is down to 1,000 feet with tubing inside diameter of 4.052 and tubing inside roughness of 0 0.006. All right. And we have subsurface safety valve here. You can actually select this equipment. So we select SSSV with tubing inside diameter of 3.72. All right, no need to input inside roughness for safety valve. We now have the next section of tubing down to 8,500 feet with the same inside diameter and roughness. All right. All right, and we have casing. The bottom of our casing is located at depth of 9,275 feet. And the inside diameter of our casing is actually 6.4 with the same default inside roughness. All right. Rate multiplier, one for all the equipment. All right, you can use or you can follow this configuration. Done. And now we need to input data for our geothermal gradient. All right. I've copied and pasted my data here. With overall heat transfer coefficient of this value. Okay. You can also check the plot. All right. Finish and done. Lastly. We can use this default effort heat capacities for oil, gas, and water. All right, done. And we can see the summary. All right, this is the summary of our equipment, our wellbore configuration. We can draw surface and draw downhole, right? Starting from Christmas tree at zero depth. And then our tubing, tubing again, and then subsurface safety valve and tubing. And lastly, of course, we have our casing. Okay, done, done, done. All right, so far so good. And now we can see our wellbore picture in this section. All right, very, very good. We can now perform nodal analysis by clicking this one calculation system IPR VLP 